on the table. Happy New Year! Hey everyone, it's Dan at Squirrel Stampede, and today we've got Lego Super Mario Luigi's Mansion. A few of the new sets to take a look at for the start of the new year. Some very spooky sets to start in the new year. We've got Luigi and a few ghosts, a front entrance, and a lab to begin our adventures here in the Haunted Mansion. Going to be interesting. Have not really explored Lego Luigi's Mansion very much, so I think we'll learn some new spooky things. So with that, let's start opening up and seeing what we can build for the new year. Squirrel Stampede! 2022! Please wait! Squirrel And a squirrel I believe the best place to start for Lego Super Mario Luigi's Mansion is set number 71397, Lab and Poltergust. 179 pieces with your expansion accessories to Luigi, which you will find Luigi in his own starter pack. Kind of interesting that they didn't reuse this chance to pack Luigi again in this pack, but no, he is not included so you have to look for that starter pack. And if you want the cool accessories that work with the other Luigi Mansion sets, you have to go with this one first. Of course, if you want to start your Luigi's Mansion adventures, you need Professor Egad and a Gold Ghost. On the back of the box, a small introduction of some of the things going on with Luigi's Mansion. Inside the box, a small information guide. Remember, all the instructions are found on a smart device app, making it a little more electronic. Bag one of pieces. That must be the gold ghost. There's two. I see some of Luigi's ghost hunting equipment inside. And bag three. That should be something to get us started with. Funny that they want to begin with the gold ghost and not Luigi's suit. We will begin by opening our bag of pieces. Virtually, of course. And then in real life. That's some gold pieces. I could probably build this in real time, actually. So you start off with a small little rounded base and begin. So it's Luigi's Mansion. Surprisingly, I have never played. I'm a longtime Nintendo fanatic. I had the GameCube. I had it early on, and for some reason, I skipped Luigi's Mansion. I think at the time, I was playing Star Wars Rogue or something, and that kind of bumped Luigi out of my mind. And then there was a Luigi's Mansion 2 for 3DS, and now there's Luigi's Mansion 3 for Nintendo Switch, so I gotta go hunt that game down. Perhaps I can find that game and play a little bit between this review and the larger Luigi's Mansion Hunt and Seek build, which I'd like to get to, too. So continuing up on the body of this guy... And there's our gold ghost construction, almost like a blob of butter. We can rotate arms how we wish, and what happens when Luigi encounters the gold ghost? We can knock him over. So I guess Luigi's a little bit afraid of the gold ghost right now. Get back here, Luigi. The squirrels will protect you. So now we can move on to Luigi's pants, I believe. In bag two, there's virtual, and we can start working on this Poltergust 3000. Look at these fun pieces. We've got a darker blue pants set for Luigi. And this must be the backpack of the vacuum. Now we just have to construct it somehow. Let's figure this out. Okay, now we can properly set up Luigi with his ghost hunting pants. And I hear the vacuum cleaner or the Poltergust 3000 activated whooshing like so. To defeat a ghost, we have a new button on our LEGO Super Mario electronic pieces. Our overalls have a button, and to activate, just press. And you can hear the vacuum going. 
So knocking over our ghost, take that butter blob, and then hold down that button nice and tight. Oh, I got a gem. That's pretty nice. I haven't got a gem before. Usually I just knock him out heart-wise. Let's try that again. There we go. So there may be gems inside these ghosts too, so keep an eye out for that. But that's kind of the new button, that little overall button by the pocket. Yeah, that's really interesting, getting that vacuum cleaner activated. There's the button right there. You gotta hold it down steady. You can see the little swishy pattern on his chest. Oops, that's my thumb. So that is how Luigi's going to function. Let's get up Professor Egad here. There he is, a nice little character build piece. Pretty simple in construction. I like the goggles, I like the uh, roundish body. And so when Luigi encounters Professor Egad. Oh yeah! A little bit of an upgrade heart and some coins. So helpful Professor Egad for Luigi. I think the next build now centers around Luigi's flashlight, so let's see how that turns out. Okay, we have two very simple laboratory builds. I think this has to be Luigi's flashlight. It's on a little special pad. And then Luigi may acquire his flashlight, I suppose. And then just another small piece of something to add on to your starter course. That brings us to bag three, the meat of the build of the set. Well, this is an interesting contraption. What is this thing all about? Ah, coins. Coins are inside. You always have to have one of these in the lap, right? Okay, so here is our basic setup of the lab. Let's give it a run through. We'll start here at the starting pad with Luigi in his normal pants. Here we go. We've got 90 seconds and I hear some Luigi's Mansion music. We've upgraded our Luigi into the Poltergust 3000. I suppose we can skip the flashlight for now. Remember this guy. Don't forget to press down this button nice and tight. Got him. Then this contraption back here. For some coins, and then finally over to the professor for some hearts. But there is no end gate. We start here. I don't have an end gate. Uh, how about a flag? Will a flag work? A flag will work. Oh yeah! Nicely done, Luigi finished his first Luigi's Mansion expansion set. To enter the mansion, one must go through the entryway, set number 71399, 504 pieces. 
Polter Pup, Bogmire, and Boo. And on the back of the box, a little more mansion to the Luigi. Inside the box, entryway guide. Bag one, two, three, four, and five. Much to build with the entryway. Somewhere in here is bag one. And we'll begin the build. And constructed the very drippy Bogmire. I like the little drippings going down the arms there. What happens when Lego Luigi encounters? Nice spin hit. Oh. Trying the vacuum. Wow, that's almost 10 hearts. Or was 10 hearts. Pretty good capture, Luigi. And now we can move on to some of the builds in bag two. So this is an interesting contraption. Is this supposed to be a turtle shell? A buzzy beetle in Luigi's Mansion? Maybe. We'll take our Bogmire and place him down in front of the grave. I suppose that's a grave. It looks kind of spooky. And then our Lego Luigi comes by and is going to smash down on this pad. Whoa, that's pretty violent. Let's try that again. I may try assisting and holding from the back of the grave this time. Oh, and there goes the Bogmire. And we have now constructed the front door and the contraptions continue with this series. For Luigi to get inside, he's gonna have to come over here and lift this bucket off the front. Doesn't really want to move away. Oh, there we go. And then stand on the front entrance. And slowly move him inside. The doors open. This little gear also opens the doors. It's a little catchy, but it works pretty well. It's much larger than I thought it would be. Ah, spider. So there, let's add on the rest of this front. We've done it! We've constructed the entryway to Luigi's Mansion! 
probably the most displayable set out of the three LEGO Luigi Mansion sets. The larger set is a doozy, but we will not be looking at that today. So there's our front gate in front of our front entrance door. We have our Bogmire contraption located on this side. And over here, look at there, look who we found. It's Polterpup. Nice little character piece with Polterpup. Cute little tongue sticking out. Nice scale to it. So there's really not too much going on with this one. Poor Landry. So it's pretty simple. We'll start Lego Luigi over here. You do not have to have this extra piece on Luigi for running this set, by the way. It just looks cooler. So we start here at the start. Let's go. And he's entered the realm of the front door. If you wish, you may go get a coin from Polterpup. And then you could head on over to enter the door. Move the bucket out of the way. And enter the door. So inside the haunted house, we've got to find, I think it's the key to get out. So we're moving the spider out of the way. See how the spider moves out of the way. And I believe that's a key, or it's a yellow bone. I'm not sure what that is. Anyhow, once you get the bone, you may leave the house now. Oh, and the Boo in the corner window there. Can't forget about Boo. A nice cube-like ghost. We've seen a few Boo befores. And he likes to sit over by this window. If you buy the other set, this is where the giant contraption would come into play. And then we would leave the house because today's just a short day. Oh dear, things are falling apart. I have knocked over the Bogmire without even knocking him over. Take that, Bogmire. Oh, scary. Anyhow, once you've had enough of the front entrance, head on over to a flag and end the madness. So not much going on. It's just the better displayable set build, I think. It's too bad we didn't have a little more of an outside wall here than some of the stuff up front, maybe, to give it an impression of a giant haunted mansion. But I guess that's just not in the cards. So it is a pretty simple set overall. Kind of a taste of what Luigi's Mansion is all about. If you want something larger to incorporate into this build, this is the final set build, the largest set build, the haunt and seek inside to the mansion. And I'm not sure if I've been sold onto it yet. It's a little bit kind of complicated, not very displayable piece. There's a giant King Boo in the corner, which is interesting, and kind of a central tower to the haunted mansion in the middle there with things coming out to wander around with. It just kind of feels overly complicated. However, if this review somehow blows up and everyone wants to know more about what is inside those doors, I'll gladly pick up Haunt and Seek at some point. We'll just see how this one goes. Hey Luigi, can you do something about this big gray ghost squirrel floating around? It's getting kind of annoying. Yes, please do something. Bah, finally! I've been stuck in the afterlife all afternoon. Very interesting builds with LEGO Super Mario Luigi's Mansion, however, I'm more interested into LEGO Super Mario like Big Urchin Beach set, and of course the new Minecraft sets that are coming out soon. So keep an eye out for those new reviews dropping in this next month as we gear in for an all fun new year at Squirrel Stampede. If you like today's video, please give us a like, a squirrel eye, and a squamant. Let us know what you're most interested in the new LEGO 2022 sets. Thanks for watching, that's what I have to say about that.